Hey, Gallant. How's he doing? Uh, so this is mission one, uh, BT-7274, and we will see how uh, Rifleman Jack Cooper is doing right now. Ah, he's probably doing dandy. Yeah. Just like Captain yeah, Lastimosa. Those grunts generally get the uh, easy jobs. What could have possibly gone wrong? I mean, he had a robot. Uh, he said that he didn't want to die, so... <laughs> Now, he said he wanted to die. That's even worse. Yeah, you're right. Oh, by the way, that's a really good transition on the title from the... Yeah, yeah agreed. Slick. This is some, good. This is some Warhammer 40k <laughs> shit. Just drop the motherfuckers from orbit. Yeah. I mean, ever since Highland wrote Starship Troopers, I think this has been a trope in sci-fi military media forever, so... Okay, so I got a question. I mean, I get the drop. Does it have to... Twirl as it's dropping. Yeah, it yeah. seems like you can everywhere. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's the medicine that seasick people take? Because they definitely have to give all of these people that before they get in those. <laughs> How do they land with the hatch side down? Good luck. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why, like, the pods and stuff that come down from, like, the Soyuz spacecraft have, like, parachutes and, like, round bottoms and shit on them. Hope you got big biceps to open that door out. <laughs> That's the answer. Just bunts you out. Explodes out, yeah. So it doesn't seem like the militia is in the best situation right now. I mean, it could be worse. Got out, like you said, they didn't land door down. <laughs> the back guy. There's the spaceship they were on. So what's the name of the enemy factory again? The ICM? The IMC. IMC. It stands for like an interstellar merchantile company or merchant company or something like that. It's a, they're basic corporate capitalist companies. These are all yeah. robots you're shooting though, right? These are robots, yeah. Those are uh, specters. So, for people who don't know, because I, I mean, who knows, but... Uh, interestingly enough, the multiplayer of this game also has AI enemies here yes. that run around, which you can kill to essentially get, like, kill streak points, which will let you get your type. It depends on the mode. There are, like, straight-up deathmatch mm -hmm. modes and stuff like that. But they're, yeah, like you said, certain modes do have NPC dudes to kill, and they're always super fucking easy, and they, like, add to your, like, point and meter build for certain other abilities and type calls. Right, so Which one thing is. I was going to ask you is, are they, like, stronger in the single player? They're, like, a little less pissy, like, you can actually fight you back. No, eh. the enemies themselves take the same amount of bullets, okay. no matter what their health or what their difficulty is, they just deal more damage, and they're uh, smarter on target it. difficulties. The main deal is like an easy, you could just take a full magazine to the face. You know, on hard mode, like a bullet. Okay when you wake up. So is Gallant playing on hard? He's playing on medium. Copy that, BT. Mercenaries. Stay down, Cooper. Again, like, I thought about, like, the benefits of playing on a hard difficulty, no, no. but, like, they're really isn't. It just makes me die quicker, which makes it. Whoa. Cool move. Do you see that? Yeah, that yeah. fucking robot, nothing personal kid him. How many robots can do a cool, like, spin kick and then shoot you, though? That was pretty sick. I think that's one of the finishes you get in multiplayer as well. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> nice furs. <laughs> you gotta look dope when you're on the battlefield. I would be so hot if I was wearing that. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, kind of looks like a tropical-ish world. I mean, Yeah, you get this planet is right? tropical. This is not like a winter scape, like my dude is wearing a full fur coat type hours. thing. The Maybe the jetpacks also ready. have like ACs in them. Maybe he's also just sleeping outside all the time. This guy could be homeless. Leave the alone, you sick <laughs> well, I mean, he's ripping ears off of corpses. <laughs> we make corpses. We don't clean them up. Well, what were you Go. planning to do with it? I, I'm not sure I want to know. Just leave it up here. What, you don't collect ears from your fallen enemies? And mostly the skulls. Oh. The skulls really? are nicer, but like you gotta clean them and everything. These I'm, are a lot easier. I'm more of a yeah. toes guy. I like to post them to my OnlyFans. <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you cannot use the skulls as cups because they have eyes. 
Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> Get fucked. That wasn't just a dude floating down the river. Yes, it was. <laughs> That's my favorite water park ride. Lazy Rivers. The Lazy Rivers is nice. a good yeah. time. He just belched Lacrimosa. He looks fine. I don't see any blood. BT. Transfer authorization to new pilot. Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango. As yeah, so you're asking BT, it's just Bravo Tango. I don't think it's actual Trooper, or anything. It's just a call sign. Hmm. Use my helmet in my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. I can't believe Last of Us is dead. How did he die? He came out of nowhere. He just not eating at all. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't get it. Like, they stabbed his Titan in the back, so I would think the Titan would be fucked up. Yeah, he probably concussed. I mean, the thing you is, know, we have been joking about, you know, the red flags and shit. I didn't honestly expect him to bite it this quickly. Right. I like you get a little bit of minutes. just running around <laughs> before this. That's so true. No, they pretty much immediately off on so you can get PT. I'm not convinced he's dead. I think he's just pretending and that our friend here, Gallant, <laughs> just stacked a bunch of rocks <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> My dude's like, as soon as he's out of sight, I'm going home. Fuck this. <laughs> That's goofus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the James McCallan, which is the ship they were on, is off to the right. It's uh, seen better days. Uh, we have a couple of set tools here. Uh, our cloaking, you get like five seconds of invisibility. Uh, obviously, grenade. Five um, seconds? Isn't that way longer than multiplayer? <laughs> five yeah. seconds? Okay. It's a bit long. Uh, we get grenades. There's a couple different grenades we'll see. Of course, we get two different weapons at any given point. Yeah, you know, aside from the cloak, it's stunned by the FPS fare at this point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fucking giant robot. But yeah, so our helmet decided that uh, in order to power up our robot, we have to go find a power source. Power low. These robots run on batteries. It's kind of strange. Maybe they're fusion or something. Who knows? It's the future. <laughs> but we got to go find some. If it was me, I simply oh, wouldn't hold a fusion reactor with my bare hands. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's green energy. Oh, okay. Green for what it does to your body when you come into contact <laughs> with it. <laughs> So this gun here is the flatline uh, of the three assault rifles. I think it's my favorite because it doesn't really have any vertical recoil. It's all just left to right, so it's pretty easy to aim. It's almost kind of like a submachine gun that is an assault rifle, if that makes sense. The uh, the R107 or whatever is faster firing and acts more like a submachine gun. But... Yeah, but that one's longer range, right? Or am I thinking? Or am I getting this one mixed up? Range. Okay, I'm getting them mixed up. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it has it has been I think the better part of a decade since I've played this game. So when did this game come out? Oh god, I forgot. Yeah, that's oh, the first one. This is faster firing. Yeah, the thing on the radio back there where they were talking about something about the arc being sealed up. Who cares? It's not important. It's October 2016. There we go. Yeah, I remember this game had a pretty bad release because I think it was sandwiched between Call of Duty and Battlefield 1. Like yeah, the day before yeah. and after. Yeah, EA kind of threw this game under the bus. Which is unfortunate because Battlefield 1 fucking sucked. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> man, oh man, there were some bad maps in that game. So in case you missed it in the tutorial level, they straight up show a helmet right here, so you know what to look for. <laughs> like, hey, idiot, this is the collectibles. <laughs> yeah. Gallant's like, oh, <laughs> cool. They're nice, and they tell you how many are in each level, so. Yeah, and they just put it front and center so you don't miss it out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's that? So. Factory where they make all the toast. Looks like a mobile armor from Gundam. Mm. That's just what a dragon, is, man. What is, was yeah. that a fucking wyvern? What the fuck? <laughs> it's just wyverns, you know. I think that was one of the weirdest things about Titanfall's like uh, universe or whatever is 
even from the first one, like, they just fully had, like, what looked like dragons in it, which was very, like, fantasy elementy. Some of the creatures are that way, too, but it works. It's cool. Yeah, like, the, the dogs that we saw earlier, they're in this level, and they're bad guys that you can fight, but, like, they don't really draw attention to them. They're just there. It's just like, yeah, this is what the creatures are, yeah. yeah. yeah they're not, like, it's... alien. They're more fantasy, I feel like. It's interesting. Yeah. But I think, like, not drawing any attention to them is kind of why it works. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Because if you had, like, VT on comes, like, oh, that's a space dragon. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, <laughs> space dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel that any other game, like, especially nowadays, would have, like, this collectible pickup, and then you can read all about their backstory oh, and history of these dragons. It's like, I, yeah, sure. <laughs> New codex entry. Space dragons. I have two eyes, and I can hear. It looks like a dragon, and it sounds like a dragon. That's enough for me. <laughs> now, now, can I fucking shoot it? Yeah. Whoa! The sideways gun! Yeah, the sideways gun is uh, what I'm crouching, you can see. Uh, so there's executions. They're not really necessary, but they are fun. <laughs> Tiger need him in the head! Yeah, there's, uh, I want to say like seven or eight of them, depending on the angle you get on the person. Damn. Um, I have to say, I really appreciated uh, you doing the Goofus intro, intro without him just, like, kicking someone in the balls from behind. <laughs> Like right off the bat. Oh my god, right gallant relax. <laughs> <laughs> His helmet popped off, that was cute. Mm. Yeah, you're right, this is the ranged one. I can tell based on the yeah. range. <laughs> it shoots a bit slower oh. than the uh, oh. Oh. Seven, oh. Jesus! <laughs> Damn, who are you, Roman Reigns? What was that? Yeah, so both Goofus and Gaunt have fucking a right hook at a Hellman, like, you can punch these dudes clear 15 feet. That does not happen in multiplayer, that's so funny. It's more fun when you do a sliding punch because you do an uppercut and they go like 10 feet in the air. If you got punched that hard in real life, you just would disintegrate your whole body. Would just turn Yeah, your hand dust. would fucking just go away. Yeah. Fucking punch somebody into mist. It wants us to run there, but I, I want to take this up there, so. so is that like a Batman thing where it's like, hey, here's where you go? Yeah, the first level only shows off the ghost scout thing, and then like it just kind of gets over. And then they're just like, you can figure it out. Yeah. The game I mean, does the whole like color highlighting thing that a lot of games do, where like the walls you're supposed to run on are yellow, like, the platform right. you need to jump on is orange, you know? So it's pretty easy to figure out eventually. Yeah, like most of the times, the, the, the path you're supposed to take is kind of really fucking obvious. And then you can just bullshit your way around, above and below it. This is the DRM. Pretty standard. Yeah, this is De Nuvo. <laughs> the most powerful DRM. <laughs> just shoot you in the fucking head if you try to bite at something. <laughs> I definitely used this gun in multiplayer a lot. I think it like one shots in multiplayer. It's, yeah, it's like kind of more of a sniper rifle than it is an assault rifle type deal. I think they're their own category, right? Yeah, they're like three assaultish rifle or three sniperish rifles. Yeah. This is, one of them. This is probably the most standard of the three as well. Definitely. This is the least crazy one, I would say. <laughs> I can't remember. Do you actually have the moves in this level before they tell you it's been unlocked? No, that's one of the things I actually wanted to bring up. Um, they right now you don't. I don't have double jump, um, and they were unlocking stuff like wall running. So, yeah, so there's no double jump until like right now and just gave it to me. Oh, there we go. So, so that's interesting. Is the gauntlet separate from single player then? It's the tutorial. Level. Like you have like to do. You have to do the gauntlet to play multiplayer, right? Um, no, you can drop straight in the multiplayer can you? from the main okay, I, don't, I don't know why I did it then. That's so weird. I must have just heard about it or something. Yeah, like, I think even multiplayer, isn't it like an entire different launcher? I think, I think it just right loads something different, yeah. It, yeah. So the, uh, robots were fighting the, uh, dogs back there, which is kind of fun. So here's our first wall to wall double jump. I think Gallon can do it. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's competent. See? Yeah. 
Good and neat. Made him a little nervous, maybe, but... I mean, this would be the most insane parkour in your life. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? I mean, like, let's ignore the crazy wall sliding. Just, like, double jumping one time ever would probably make me throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it would really take kindly to the idea of putting rockets on your ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so one thing about the weapons, this, if, I don't know if I zoomed down the uh, sights on this one, but the weapons themselves have, like, default baseline um, iron sights, but you can put on, like, some guns do have, like, better ones. Uh, so, like, this this flatline has the default version, which is different from, like, the red dot one I was using before. Also, some, like, have uh, longer magazines. You'll see that on the shotgun a lot. Yeah, huh. there's, uh, these are the same unlocks you get in multiplayer. Yeah, you can guns, customize yeah. your guns a little bit in multiplayer. It's not I like you didn't remember to have it on uh, single player as well. Yeah, it's just a touch. Like it's not crazy big differences, but you know it matters. It's a there's, bit. there's like right. stocks and stuff too. I think. Yeah. yeah. I really like seeing the classical uh, twist and pull battery from science fiction. Yeah. So we got a battery. We got to go back to BT. Just looking around. If it was me, I would simply go back the way that I came. Instead of jumping you know, through an exploded ship. I wonder if you can. Like, I'm trying to think if there's a block. Actually, no, I think once you pick up the battery, the area that you slided through right before the battery shuts off. Oh, okay. They do gating in that in certain areas. Like, you can't go to the second part of this level because there just isn't a piece of environment there to mm -hmm. run up. It's, it's watching you. Why would you let it go? Oh, I see Galan is not even using the ghost run enough. Mm, he's, he's getting cocky here. He's getting confident. Yeah, so the IMC grunts look like this. The oh, first no. thing they're talking about is... <laughs> Imagine you're standing there and then some invisible dude just appears and fucking... Street Fighter Tiger and Easier Friend are right in the dome. <laughs> You're just like, uh oh. Oh, you need another one, though. Yep. Rule of threes. Sorry, your robot's not juiced enough. Let's go get one of those Adjusting extended focus. battery cases. Are you alright, Pilot? <laughs> I think so. Wait, did you just call me Pilot? Yes. The late Captain Lastimosa gave you the provisional rank of acting pilot. Congratulations on your promotion. Should I get a pay bump? You Thank may you. call me BT. BT. Got it. My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. I will remain here. Couldn't you mention that before? We're just in a room full of batteries. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can only carry one at a time. It throws off your jumping. <laughs> A pay bump, Ryan, in this economy? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, we are getting hazard pay, right? <laughs> oh, no, this no, seem no. Like standard no, 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 no hazard pay. Definitely not. So I was wondering earlier, like, BT does have a personality to him, but I wonder, like, if he or Lastimosa was the one that gave him the dragon tattoo on his stomach. Like, oh, you I think know I look at that was Lastimosa. You know it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it, hey Gallant, just a thought, you probably should shoot that. Yeah. Lies against turning yourself over to the IMC. Voice pattern analysis they lying. They are lying. Thanks, BT. Don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Understood, but I do recommend you move. IMC salvage teams are not far away. I mean, I'm not leaving you. It is a common requirement for pilots. <laughs> I like the BT like had language <laughs> problems. <laughs> like I'm still not sure if BT is just being like a robot or he's just taking the fucking piss at this moment. <laughs> no, he plays the straight man in this. BT is like, pilot, when you said that they don't want that smoke, what were, smoke were you referring to? <laughs> As well, I you think said I... they were going to light them up. That was a <laughs> terrible idea. Shining a light will give away your position. <laughs> Yeah, he does a lot of that. 
very conveniently placed uh, pieces of ship. Is there any so stealth in this game? Like, ah, not aside from the invisible thing. Not really. But yeah, here's your Apex Predators reference. We're listing all the dudes that work for them. Wait, did, did you hear cloaking? Sorry, did they hear you cloaking? I don't know what they reacted to there. My mapping huh. systems have been restored. The ambush of the 9th Militia Fleet has landed us far off course from our original destination. Ooh, we are located awkward. in hostile territory. Mm. Be careful, we cannot stay here long. You think we can survive through this, BT? We have no other options. We well, will have yeah. to improvise and adapt. <laughs> Duh. <to survive. laughs> How long did you serve with Lastimosa? Captain Lastimosa linked with me 973 days ago. Three years. Roundabouts. Sorry. You guys must have been close. He was an excellent pilot. And a good friend. We know. <laughs> he just starts up his voice line they fucking destroy it. What the fuck are those you shooting, by the way? Just camera bots or something? Yeah, they're like drones. So like the, the uh, James McAllister or whatever crash landed and they're looking for all the uh, militia survivors just to round them up and kill them. And so like I'm assuming those camera bots are supposed to be looking for dudes, but they do like a kind of bad job. <laughs> the environments in this single player are very pretty. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, is actually one of the tamer ones. There's an environment that I love that's going to be coming up towards the end of the game. I hate to Not invoke a terrible name and game while this is happening, but the, one of the few good things about it and what this, these environments kind of remind me of a little bit are Anthem. A bit, yeah. That kind of like jungle planet thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is going for it. And very was vertical, like, like tall. Yeah. Was that the only planet in Anthem? Uh, I played about 15 asking seconds me, of that game. <laughs> you know, I, I, I will admit to playing longer than that, but as far as I know, yeah, like... I think there's only one. Damn. But yeah, this game looks incredible and it just gets better as you go on. Yeah. So, uh, Gallant taking his time, uh, sniping here. Again, Gallant, me, and multiplayer. Fucking find the most static weapon in the game about moving very fast. Mm -hmm. Find the absolute most boring static thing and stand very far away shooting the people who are jumping on walls. I was in it to ruin people's fun, not to have my own fun. dangerous situations. That's fair. Yeah, as you can see, there's recharging health. It's pretty standard for games these days. I have mixed feelings on it, but it works fine in here, because generally, if you get yourself into a shitty situation, you're just going to die before the recharging health matters. Also, this does not appear, well, at least so far, to uh, do the Call of Duty thing of... Yo, there are infinite enemy spawns. In the world. I don't think there ever are. Oh god. You seem much more like, um, that's what I'm looking for. Curated environments. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a lot of, like, scripted things going on in terms of, like, enemy reactions and, like, environment details. Right, and, like, when they come out and stuff, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think it does a really good job of not having enemy monster closets. Yeah. I remember people being, I, again, I never played it myself, but that wasn't like, it was just a preference thing, but I remember people being very positive about this campaign when the game came out. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's kind of short. It's like 10, 12-ish hours, I would say, first playthrough, and I mean, much shorter that, It's pretty standard ones. length for an FPS, though, yeah. right? Like, that's, if anything, that's a little long, probably, for an FPS. Who is this for us? I think the reason that people like this so much is because even though it is short, the set pieces they have are totally fucking awesome, and like the gunplay is so good. Right. The gunplay translates even to a single player. No. Scans do not detect any life signs within the MCS James McAllen, but 90% of the lifeboats have been ejected. There is still hope. Yeah, so they're talking about crash ship. No one survived on the ship. I noticed that he did say 90% and not 100%. Well, I mean, there's dead people in here, so. <laughs> Gallant's like, oh, fire. Scary. Yeah. 
That seemed like it would be very hot. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just a piece of metal suspended over fire. That doesn't sound like a good thing to be crawling through. I think you must be right, Kuvo, about the suits having, like, some kind of AC or something. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's going to be real uncomfortable crawling in that. Like, imagine the chafing, though. Because, like, Ooh. you're running around like that, and, like, you got ass, like, you know, these rockets strapped to your ass. It must be real hot. Right. And, you know, what? here's the thing is, even if you have AC, then you're so dry. Your skin is so dry all the time. Yeah. I feel like these things have to be, like, caked in baby powder. Yeah, you must need... These guys must go through moisturizer by, like, the gallon. <laughs> Pilot, please remember to moisturize. <laughs> Pilot, I see that your lips are getting dry and cracked. You could really use some chapstick. I spot something. Yep. Radio's talking about how they're going to send the salvage team to BT, because apparently it's a rare collector edition robot. <laughs> Speaking of rare collector edition robots, uh, apparently McCarlin Toys made like an action figure for this that like retailed for like twenty five dollars when it was out. Oh and it's like two hundred dollars on eBay now. Like, oh, fuck. Oh. Yeah. oh god! Well, wait, wait, didn't like the collector's edition of this game have like a fucking real size helmet? Yes. Yeah, so. it did. I've seen real size helmets like at Magfest. Oh, just it. give me one for my motorcycle, please. <laughs> I don't think that would protect you in the case of an accident, but, you know. Uh, if it's good enough for a robot, it's good enough for me. <laughs> the only reason you wear a motorcycle, uh, a helmet on a motorcycle is just so your head is intact after you die so they can identify you. It's not right, yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's just to look cool. It's not going to save your life. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is the hemlock. It's a burst fire. It kind of sucks in single player. It's way better in multiplayer. I'm struggling to think of any burst fire weapon games that actually... Those good. Are in guys, multiplayer, like the three-shot three burst will kill you. You say that, but uh, M16 in Call of Duty 4 is the one that I think, of, I think of busted burst fire weapons. Hell, you don't even remember that. I, Modern Warfare 1, I played too many hours of that game is the answer. Hmm. That was Modern one of the enough. one of the Call of Duties I liked. They're not that many. I mean, it's a really good one. If, if that you one and Call of Duty 2. Mm. That Garand ping sound? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the good shit. <laughs> put so many hours into that fucking game. I know, right? So we finally get inside a robot. No seatbelts. Maybe that's how last the most have died. Damn, they even have, I was gonna say, they even have seatbelts in Gundam, so they're really skimping here. <laughs> Depends on the Gundam, but yes. It took us like fucking 10 years canonically to put seatbelts in true. <laughs> Jack Cooper, you are now confirmed as acting pilot of BT-7274. Protocol 2, uphold the mission. Our orders are to uphold? resume special operation Weird 217. Yeah. Rendezvous with this Major is like prime directive bullshit. I'm detecting Protocol 3, forces. stop getting Protocol shot. Three. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's basically. <laughs> So this is the intro. Ah, uh, the ability is so cool. Release the button to yeah. launch any captured objects back at the enemy. He's explaining here. You just put your shield up. You can hold it down for a bit and shoot bullets back at them to take a catch. And this is a thing in multiplayer too. Yeah. There's a uh, eight loadouts I want to say for the robots. The uh, single player goes through all of them plus one. Oh really? I did not expect you to say that. I thought the single player was only gonna have. One loadout. This loadout actually is in the player. This is the base BT loadout. It has like a machine gun. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah, so you have lock on missiles with your uh, missile button. God, I love the design of the cockpit on the screens. Yeah, it looks real cool like you're actually in the robot. Yeah, it's, it's fucking good. Like, it's a really fantastic way of giving you a good field of vision. And just Enemy make it sort of you realistic at the same time. Get ready. You sure about this? Also, I think the yes. one you're in right now Trust is probably me. pretty quick as far as the robots go, but some of the bigger ones you can feel it when you walk, like because yeah. you're so slow. Yeah. Yeah, BT handles like it's like a mid. Like he is an one, right? Yeah. 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 He really like he, BT is in multiplayer because he's like his own special man, right? Whatever. But yeah, he. Walks around like a medium-sized one. Not bad. 
they're essentially, if we're talking about it, three weight classes to the robots, which are light, medium, heavy. And like the one you just killed, for example, was a light. I detect yeah. more IMC salvage teams on the way. Yeah, even on the, in the heavy ones, it still feels like you're in something really fucking heavy, but until then, yeah. really fucking yeah. agile at the same time. Yeah, which is kind uh, of a fantastic balance they hit. Agile for, you know, like what you are, right? Which is like a, yeah, yeah. basically a walking tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20 foot tall robot, yeah. Yeah. So we gotta go find Anderson because he knew about the mission, and so that's where we're going.